Hey everybody, welcome to Furniture Flipping Teacher. I'm Lauren and I am here every Thursday to teach how I take old and outdated furniture, give it a new life and sell it for a profit. And in doing so, I have been able to pay off my entire student loan debt of $25,000, as well as resign as a full-time kindergarten teacher and today in this video, I am going to be making over not one, but two headboards and one footboard. So let's get into it. We just want to thank Dixie Bell for sponsoring this video. So all of the products I will be using are Dixie Bell and you can find them down below in the description. I am of course going to be starting out by cleaning with this White Lightning, which is just a TSP based cleaner. So we're gonna get all the oils and grime off. I just dumped a little bit of these granules into my spray bottle here so that it lasts me a lot longer than if I put it into a bucket of water. So throughout this video, I am going to be giving you the entrance requirements for our giveaway that Dixie Bell is sponsoring. But, oh, I forgot to tell you guys about the giveaway. All right, the giveaway is $100 to Dixie Bell. Your first requirement is to get subscribed to our channel down below for weekly videos. I will be letting you know the rest of the requirements throughout the video, so just keep watching. Now that I'm done cleaning, it's time to sand. I'm gonna go ahead and put my RZ mask on, and this is just to protect my lungs from any of the sanding dust that may come up. I've been loving this new RZ mask, and I love the style and how bright it is. I'm gonna be using my Surf Prep sander here. I've got a 220 grit on there, and then I've also got a sponge pad here to just go with the curves of the bed. Real quick before I hit the last headboard, I am going to apply some Dixie mud to the sleigh bed where we've just got a couple of gouges like this and then also these screw holes I really would like to cover as much as possible. This is where the bed is actually going to be. So it's not gonna be too visible, but the more we can mitigate these huge holes in uh, the bed, then the more that it looks better. Sanding is finished on this guy. The Dixie mud should be dry now, so I'm gonna go check that out as well. Alrighty, I wiped all of the sanding dust back just to get that surface extra clean. So now we are ready to spray some primer.
I'm going to be using Boss here for the primer on all three pieces out there. So I'm going to make sure that when I'm using my sprayer, I strain my paint to get any chunks out. And of course, I'm going to be stirring it up just to make sure that it's all mixed around completely. Boss is a water-based primer that helps block any stains or odors that may be on the furniture. I'm using the Boss for a primer, but also to get a first coat on there so that it mitigates the amount of paint coats that I have to do in the end. Although Boss is water-based, you don't want to put any water into it to help thin it out because it needs to do its job so it needs to stay in its original form. All right, I got all of the pieces sprayed with primer. The sun is going down, so we're gonna call it a night, but we'll be back for coat number one of the paint tomorrow. All right, I am ready to spray the headboards now that that primer has had enough time to dry. So I'm gonna be using Dixie Belle's Cotton for this, which is their white, white. So before I get to spraying, I want to tell you guys the second requirement to enter the giveaway for a $100 Dixie Belle gift card. And that is that you need to let us know down below in the comments, do you prefer spraying when you're painting furniture or using a brush. For me, I really like to do both, but I would love to know what you guys like to do. You know, I've found a lot more lately that I like spraying, but when it's colder weather and I can't really be outside, I definitely am brushing more of the time. So would love to hear your guys' thoughts. I'm gonna get to spraying. I already put the paint inside there, so we're just ready to hook up. calling it a day it's getting a little chillier out here so we need to move everything inside but i got full coverage with just two coats of white on everything so we'll come back and do the top coat here in a little bit we have got another a beautiful day today so of course we're utilizing the nice weather to do some more spraying which means i am ready for the top coat on these headboards so i'm going to be using dixie bell satin for this and this is just a very soft shine there's really not much luster at all when applying this so i'm going to go ahead and put it in my sprayer i'm going to make sure to strain it just like i do when i use the paint just to make sure there's no clump or any foreign objects in that paint. You don't need to water down the top coat. It is a thin enough consistency to go straight through the sprayer all on its own. So unlike the paint where I do just do a little bit of water to thin it out, not necessary for the top coat. I personally like to have a completely different head and contraption for my only top coat, just so that I'm not worried about any paint color coming through. I only use the top coats in this sprayer. So let's go ahead and get connected and start spraying the top coat. I'm gonna start out with a rad pad and sand everything smooth.
I am officially done with top coat and all of the headboards are finished. All right, I'm gonna move them inside and we're gonna get the tape off, but then other than that, we're gonna be pretty much done. Before I take the tape off, let's talk about the third requirement for the giveaway of the $100 Dixie Belle gift card. That is that you have to go over and subscribe to Dixie Belle's YouTube channel as well. So three requirements, nothing too crazy. Subscribe to our channel, comment down below, spray or brush, and then subscribe to Dixie Belle's channel as well. Let's go ahead and take the tape off here. And then as you can see, there's a little bit of spots where I maybe didn't quite get the tape on there just right. So I've got my little artist brush that just really helps me get into those small crevices. So I'm gonna do a little bit of touching up here. You guys, I am so excited because these headboards were the last missing piece of the house makeover that I've been working on all of the furniture for for the past several months. So the next time you see these headboards and all of the other furniture, it's going to be inside of that house. I cannot wait to see it all come together. You guys need to get subscribed down below and definitely get entered into the giveaway for the $100 Dixie Belle gift card. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you on the flip side.